Hi, my name is Tara, and this is my first YouTube video, so apologies in advance if I'm a bit awkward. I'm pretty nervous, and I'm not really used to being in front of the camera, so yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for this kind of autumn orange smoky eye that I have on here. So yeah, stay tuned if you want to see how I did this. Um, also, as you can probably tell from my accent, I am from Belfast in Northern Ireland, so sorry if I sound like an absolute frog at times. Okay, um, now I'm gonna do my eyes. So I've already primed them and um, set them with a loose powder, and I'm gonna be using my Z palette or Z palette, which is filled with Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And I'm gonna be using Peach Smoothie. It's my transition shade on a Zoeva 228 Luxe crease, crease brush. So I'm just using this to kind of make my eyeshadows blend out better and more gradually. So this harsh line make it easier to blend. And then next, I'm going to I'm going to take a <clears throat> it's a bit dirty, but a Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer brush. And I'm going to take Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and put that on my crease. Just a little bit and then blend it out. I really like this colour, it kind of goes with most eye looks and it's pretty neutral. And then I just use that Zoeva Lux Crease Brush again to kind of make sure it's blended out properly. Okay, and then once that's blended out, I'm going to take the Lux Soft Definer Brush again by Zoeva and use Chickadee by Makeup Geek. It's um, like a warm yellow, yellowish tone. I'm just going to put this at the top. Take the same as we have a lush, Lux crease brush and just blend it out again. And then I'm going to take that 227 Lux Soft Definer brush again and take Morocco, this nice orange shade um, by Makeup Geek, and put that into the crease. As you can tell, I really like Makeup Geek eyeshadows. You've just got a really good colour range, so kind of everything you could want and their mattes are really good, they're not chalky at all and they're just so pigmented blend really really well and take that Luxe Crease brush again if I can find it and blend it out again then I'm going to take ooh this brush is really dirty <laughs> my Luxe Petite Crease brush 231 from Zoeva. Please ignore how dirty it is. And I'm going to take Bitten by Makeup Geek and put it in the outer corner. And just put a little bit on at a time and then build it up, which I'm not very good at because I can be really heavy handed, but it's easier to put on a little bit at a time and add more and put on way too much. I'm gonna have to try and blend it all out. And then bring it around to the inner corner as well. And then I'm gonna take Cherry Cola by Makeup Geek on the same brush I've just used and put that into the outer corner just to deepen it. Outer corner. Or V, whatever you call it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take Americano by Makeup Geek again in this outer corner V thing. Oh, and I'm using the Zoeva 230 Lux Pencil Brush. It's good for like precise work. And I'm just taking it onto my eyelid a little bit as well. And then I'm going to take 
that brush that I just used for uh, bitten and cherry cola to blend that in a little bit. And then I'm going to take a pretty clean Morphe M511 brush, just a big fluffy blender brush to just blend it all out gently. Make sure there's no harsh lines because that can look a bit crap. I'm also going to take Real Gar. I don't know if that's how you say it. I think that's how you say it. Uh, from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. It's the shade. I'm taking that on my again the 227 Luxe Soft Definer as a weaver brush and blend that in just to add a bit more depth and bring the orange out more. This palette is amazing um, I couldn't decide for ages whether or not to get it because I just thought I wouldn't be able to do that many looks with it and it wouldn't be that great for everyday use and going to work but it's actually really versatile um, yeah it's got like quite a good range of colours like warm colours and cooler tones and obviously shimmers and there's just so many mattes and it's just so good and the eyeshadows are so buttery and they blend so well and I'm just blending it out again with the Morphe M511 and then I think because my yellow's kind of gone I'm going to take Chickadee again by Makeup Geek and just add a bit more of that. I really wish I had bigger eyelids so I had more space for more eyeshadow because mine are really quite small um, and I'm just blending it out again with the Morphe brush. I'm going to do my lid Color. You can use this Morphe M167 brush, like a flat shader brush, and red ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette. It's just a dark red color. It's really nice. I'm going to pat that on my lid. If you want these to be more vibrant you can use a white base but I think I'm going to put pigment over it so it doesn't really matter. To finish off the lid I'm going to take Max Copper Sparkle Pigment. Just a really pretty copper colour and I'm going to use this Kiko Mixing Solution. Yeah, I just use it with pigments. To make it more like a paste which goes on easier and reduces the fallout so I just put a few drops of that into this yeah. thing dip my brush in which is the Morphe G20 it's a really little flat shader brush and then dip it into the pigment and then just pat that on my lid what the heck is that? probably should have done my eye makeup before my foundation, but oh well. So I do that about three quarters of the way across my lid. Just keep patting it on really carefully so that it doesn't fall all under my eye and ruin my foundation. This brush is really good for this because uh, it's really small, whereas the other shader brush I used was quite a large one. That. So we've a Luxe Petite crease brush again, and then kind of blend some bitten and try cool it into the pigment. For my under eyes, I'm going to take some of Real Gar from the Anastasia. Modern Renaissance palette on a Morphe M431 brush, just like a little pencil brush. And just 
snuck that right under my eye. And then, I'm gonna take the 226 smudger brush from Zoeva. And I'll take some red ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette and just put it as close to my lower lash line as I can. And then also take some Bitten and Cherry Cola on that same brush and do the same thing. And put it about like three quarters of the way across because I don't want to put it too close to my inner corner because I'm going to put a highlight on there to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Just a little bit of American on the end. And then I'm going to take the Zoeva Lux Definer brush with some peach smoothie. This is one I've been using like the whole time. And try and smoke it out a bit. Then I'm going to take uh, Tempera, I think it's called Tempera, from the uh, Modern Renaissance palette on the 234 Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader. And then I'm going to take, if I can find it, this, I don't know what this brush is, I don't know who to buy, it's very old, it's white, I don't know, it's good, I use it on my inner corner, I think it might be model's own actually. The Makeup Revolution Baked Eyeshadow Chocolate Deluxe Quad. It's five quad. The one with five in it. I'm gonna take the lightest shade and put that on my inner corner. I'm gonna also take Voltage to Duochrome by Makeup Geek just on my baby finger. And I'm gonna pat that on. I usually use, it doesn't really matter what, but the one I have is the Soap and Glory Super Cat Liner. It's like a felt tip one. Um, I can't use just this for my liquid eyeliner because I think my eyes are really watery and it completely comes off if at my wing throughout the day. It just completely runs all under my eye, smudges everywhere. It's not good, but I do use it to um, just kind of to the outline of the wing and sometimes to just darken my eyelashes because the eyeshadow tends to get on this bottom bit of my or whatever this bit of my eyelashes that I can't really get to with mascara and then for the wing I use this Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner by Rimmel it's really good. Ew. It's got like a little really really tiny thin brush so it's good for precision work. It's really hard to do this actually on screen. I'm, I've been putting on liquid eyeliner most days for so many years and I'm still absolutely crap at it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this off the screen. Just a little tiny tiny Flick wing thing at the end because I just can't get it even. I will be one minute. Ta da! <laughs> Sorry about that. It's just uh, I really, really struggle to do my liquid eyeliner without my elbow or arms resting on something because my hands are so shaky. And um, yeah, my hand was just up in the air like this, going all over the place. So, and I find it really difficult as well to even it out because my eyes are kind of two different shapes. My eyelids slightly hooded on this eye, so I have to do my eyeliner kind of a certain less thick on this eye than this eye to make it look even. But anyway, I'm going to use the Maybelline Colossal Volume Volume Express mascara. Um, I don't wear fake eyelashes. My eye makeup would probably look a lot better if I did, but I just I'm too scared of putting them on. <laughs> I think I would just try and mess it up and ruin the makeup that I spent like an hour putting on. So um, my eyelashes are quite long anyway, so I think it looks okay. A 
I feel like the Maybelline mascaras are some of the best. Um, I haven't really tried any high-end mascaras, but these ones are so cheap and they're just so good. This one and the Lash, Lash Sensation, Lash Sensational, whatever it was. The one in the pink tube, they're just so good. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to do on eyes is put on some eyeliner. I have a white eyeliner, but I don't know where it is right now. So I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Mine is really blunt and it needs to be sharpened because I like to use it for a base on my lid. So that just kind of opens your eyes up a bit, makes them look a bit bigger because my eyes are quite small, so yeah, anything that kind of makes them look a bit bigger is good. Okay, so this is the finished look for my bottom orange smoky eye. Um, yeah, I just like to wear kind of more darker orangey red tones in autumn, so as much as I like summer, I'm kind of glad that we're into this season now. Um, I'm going to link all the products, and list all the products I use below in the description and also just leave some links to my social media, so Instagram and whatnot, so it would be great if you could give me a follow on there. Um, and yeah, I'd just like to hear any kind of ideas for videos or anything you'd like to see next from me and also just maybe what, what kind of colours you like to wear in autumn, what's your kind of favourite eye look. So awkward. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you liked my first video. I hope it wasn't too awkward. Hopefully I'll get more comfortable and more used to everything and won't have uh, my mirror in the way when I'm trying to record. So bye.